Hey guys, this is Hades Designs and I'm really sorry that uh, I've been off for a few days and uh, today I will bring on the video uh, that shows this metallic text effect. I've done it previously but it didn't have the voice tutorial so and many of you ask it uh, so I'm gonna do it today. Uh, first of all uh, we're gonna start with this uh, white background and uh, we will create a layer like this uh, now on this layer I have created gradients uh, with white and bluish color and uh, I have added some uh, filter like noise and all that you can create it easily then I have got this light uh, which is created by brush tool and uh, it is some basic things that uh, uh, all of you know uh, then the thing come is uh, the creating the letter and uh, I have edited it by adding this metallic uh, square or rectangle. Now, uh, to make this, uh, you need to have uh, extended version of Photoshop and uh, this uh, layer styles. Now, first of all, let's select bevel and emboss and contour. In bevel and emboss, you have to select the style emboss. Technique is smooth. Depth is hundred percent, one thousand percent. Direction is up and size is eight. Uh, now in contour you gotta select the range 100% now let's go to stroke uh, now we have to create a gradient like this uh, for that you have to select each and every this color like uh, from starting black to grayish uh, you can do it from here like uh, selecting black here then creating a new one gradient then adding some gray color to it like that now you can save it by uh, creating new custom layer and press ok now you gotta select the size of stroke 3 pixels position outside and opacity around 66 percent you can match it around by uh, whichever style you like then create get the angle of gradient to minus 35 percent go to gradient overlay now you gotta create one another gradient just like the previous one but you gotta start from gray to black just like this select the gray first then black then gray then end with it end it with gray okay uh, select the style to linear and make sure to have blend mode to color dodge uh, and scale to 101 percent or you can select it appropriate to your letters then go to pattern overlay uh, we have selected the last pattern in which is from the artistic surfaces ok uh, you have to create the op opacity to 100% and blend mode to normal now we are gonna create shadows drop shadows you have to create uh, select the blend mode multiply opacity to 100% and angle to 90 degrees now you can choose it whatever you want like according to your letter distance to around 12 to 10 spread it to 12 to 10 and size should be according to your letter again now don't make it noise to get a better quality hit ok now you can create this simple rectangle by just uh, uh, selecting a small portion of your letter and then copy pasting it and also copy paste the uh, FX layer styles and uh, then I have added some flares like this like this one reddish flare also added uh, orange color to this side and the image is ready now it is a little bit different from the previous one because I used a different pattern uh, as you can select it in pattern overlay but uh, it's kind of good and better you can experiment about your letters thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe